Bing bong, thank you for invite. Oh, of course. Please come in. Hey, Brian, I bet he thinks you're what's for dinner. Come on, that's a racist stereotype. So, when do we eat dog? Ah, just kidding. As you are aware, Asians are known for their great sense of humor, an enormous genitalia, and respect for non-Asians, and for being polite. Now, give me big American food, you fat, ugly, Kojak, bang, bang, American fat souls. Lois, this is my life, and this is what I want. I will marry you, Mayor Adam West. Oh, I'm so happy. But you might be disappointed on our wedding night. I broke my hymen riding a horse. Well, that's the end of that saddle. <laughs> hey, Lois, I want to bounce my Facebook status off you before I post it. it is um, it, getting ready for the weekend, is, it, is, that, is, is that, does that grab you? Hey, um, I don't, I don't really like what's for supper, so do you think I could just have some cereal? Carol only lets us have healthy cereals. Oh, man, that rots. And then there was your third husband, Jeff, the black guy? Hmm, he should have been here by now. You know, Cohog Estates is a very exclusive neighborhood. I got an invitation to go to the mayor's house. Uh-huh. So you're telling me if I ran these plates, they'd come back clean? Absolutely. Hold the attitude. Oh, hey, Mayor West. Hi, Lois. I just wanted to give Peter back his miniature barbell. What the hell? It's made of a metal called comedium that can either be very light or very heavy, depending on the situation. Hurry, Peter. The flight to Alaska leaves in ten minutes. What time is it? Four o'clock. Oh, damn it, Carol. Here, take this and sprinkle some in a fishbowl back there. High-maintenance gift. High-maintenance gift that second husband of yours gave me. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, hey, Lois, can I have a Quahog sweatshirt? Sure, Peter, but only if you count to five and still want it. Oh, boy! One, two, three, four... Ah, I don't want it anymore. But y you got it because Cheryl Teague's car broke down in front of your house. What? Yeah, and she decided that while she's waiting for AAA, that she would wash it with a big wet sponge. Yeah, there's lots of soap, and, and some of it is running down her boobs, all runny and booby. Carol, a woman needs to feel safe, whether in the workplace or at home. And being a sexy woman doesn't give a man the right to touch you there. Well, wait, that's the speech I'm giving at the Rape Crisis Center tomorrow. You know what? I'm just going to whistle. Non-existence. No past, no future, no universe. We're totally alone. Oh, my God. This is worse than when I went to that Arab Sweet Sixteen. Well, see, we're outside the space-time continuum, so no flashbacks. You know, no back, no forward. Kind of interesting. Scientifically. Oh, look, Lois. Here comes another mom from preschool. Oh, hi, Louise. All right, they have just enough in common to give me about eight and a half minutes. It's always so funny when I run into you, because our names are so close. I know. I'm Louise, and you're Lois. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leonardo, I hear you got a Michelangelo the Sistine Chapel job. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah you know, he, he want to put the, the man and the, the uh, man and a woman on the, the ceiling, and uh, but I tell Mick, uh, no, 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 the Pope... The Pope like it better if you put uh, put it the two dudes, you know, a young young hot guy and the old guy, and and it's clear that the old guy has got uh, the fame and the power, and uh, that's the only reason that the young guy is interested. But uh, but the young guy is so hot and naked, and uh, the old guy uh, the old guy he he know he knows what this is about. He know he know he knows the score. It is yeah is 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 gonna be hot. Yeah, it's that that's probably my ancestor. Yeah, I would say so. I'm not throwing anything away. Joe and I have been growing apart for years. It's been so long since I've been meaningfully penetrated by anything. I got a splinter the other day and I smoked a cigarette afterwards. This is what my class will be! This! Learn with me! Let's teach each other! 
So far, this is all the same stuff from Mr. Delahaye's social studies. Hey, Meg, I'm in here with Stewie, and it's pretty clear he needs a diaper change. Would you mind? Okay, class dismissed. We've already gotten through more material than I thought we were going to get through today. for you plenty of times before, but not this time. This is very dangerous, and I have to make sure you never do it again. I won't, I swear! <laughs> Stewie, calm down. Sometimes in life, you just have to accept what's coming to you. Pioneers, Brian! We share their spirits! Manifest destiny! All right, that's it. Give me the wheel. Go to hell! <laughs> Slow down, slow down. What happened? We went to the zoo, we saw an ape. At first we didn't think we'd see him because he was like hiding back in his house. But then he came out, we saw him. We saw the ape. He was big. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Okay, I get it. You had fun. What the devil? What's going on? Oh, I'm sorry, Stewie. Your Aunt Carol's going to be staying with us for a little while, so she's going to need your room. Who the hell do you think you are? Stop it this instant. We're not going to fit through there. Only circles can fit through that rectangular doorway. Oh, my God, it's going right through. I, 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 I gotta get better at shapes. I hate this. When do I get my cookie? I just want my cookie so I can go home. Remind you that, in honor of Lent, today's coffee service will not include Chewy Chips Ahoy. <gasps> the pig goes... Wank! The cow goes... Shazoo! It most certainly does not. The rooster goes... Kikrigi! Where? Where does the rooster say that? The monkey goes... Makak! Oh, no, 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 it does not. The elephant goes... Fwap! Mm, yeah, kind of. Hey, you can play over there in the sandbox, honey. Mommy's just gonna read her book. Okay, I'm just gonna walk 30 feet away and then panic because I can't see you. Oh, Brian, you are such a scumbag. I can't believe you. Mommy! Mommy! Where's my mommy? I have no one and nothing! I'm right here, honey. Oh, thank God. She's such a gross hog. Play with this. At least you can spend your final moments doing something you enjoy. You know, it's funny. I had actually stopped playing with that toy, but now that I see you with it, I kind of want to play with it again. <laughs> Look at me. I'm mowing the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I see you, fat man. <gasps> Where's Daddy? What? Where did you go? Oh, this is impossible. But I, I can hear you, but I can't see. Well, he must really be gone. Peekaboo! Ah! How the hell did you do that? Look, I thought you disappeared, otherwise I wouldn't have picked my... Oh, great, leave when I'm right in the middle of a sentence. No! 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 Oh, now Stewie's having a tantrum. Come here, sweetie. <laughs> Ow! Screw you, you little turd! <laughs> What's all that noise? Aw, do you want a hug from your big sister? Ow! I don't care about anything except Brian. I want Brian! <laughs> you want me to put a dead dog under your tree? <laughs> yes! 
<laughs> and uh, I'd, I'd like a bike, too. Oh, great. I always end up sitting next to a damn baby. What? What did you just say? Still, we stop fussing. Not now, Lois. Hey, big man, turn around. If you've got something to say, say it to my face. Oh, you can't hear me now. All right, that's it. I was going to watch the movie, but forget it. For the next five hours, you're my bitch. Where? Where? My ears are popping, and there's no way to console me. I'm hungry and possibly teething. Maybe I'm wet. Who knows? I'm a baby. Where? Where? But now you owe me. That means one day I'm going to come to you and ask for a favor. But I need to know something. I need to know that you're going to say yes when that day comes. Uh, oh, okay. Can we go for ice cream? Come on! Mom! Mommy! 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 Mama! 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 Ma! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> Me through to the Pentagon. Do you know what sound a cow makes? Don't toy with me, Ernie. I've already dispatched with Mr. Hooper. I've got six armed men stationed outside Big Bird's Nest. And as for Linda? Well, it's rather difficult for a deaf woman to hear an assassin approach now, isn't it? Can you count to three? Oh, indeed I can. One, two, three! Daddy, I want to turn on the swing set. No. But you've gone for two turns. Get lost. It looks like fun and I want to do it. No, I'm doing it. I'm going to do a big jump off. Ah, get mom! 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 You want to get some ice cream? That'd make you feel better, right? You want to get some McDonald's? You want to take a dump in Mother Maggie's shoes? Okay, let's go take a dump in Mother Maggie's shoes. Where? Where? Mommy, Daddy, I had a bad dream. I I, I saw the, 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 the book... Class, what the devil is that name again? A, a book, 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 boogeyman. Yes, that's it. I saw the boogeyman. Aw, oh, did someone have a bad dream? Mm, why don't you sleep with mommy and daddy? Brian face. Mm -hmm. Brian face. Yep. Brian face. Only a few more now. Da, 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 da. Okay. Da, 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 All right. Da, 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 Gotta be getting tired soon. Come on, Stewie. We're going. Just a moment, Brian. I'm pretending I'm a fireman. I love playing pretend. My name's Peter, and I work in the brewery. Now I'm going to put on my pants and go talk to my co-workers that these pants have stolen. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, standing here with these kids, waiting for the song to end. Yankee Doodle went to town, now I know my ABCs. You see, when young kids act out, what they're really doing is asking to be heard. They have very little control in their lives, so the key, and I mean key, <laughs> is to make them an active participant in these decisions. <laughs> and once you do that, <laughs> you'll see <laughs> a big <laughs> difference. Hi, can I get some of those tiny square napkins? Got you! Got you! Got you! Got you! Got you! Don't we get lost? Daddy's trying to watch the ball game. You can't talk. I've knocked out your communication systems. Hey, hey, look, Stewie. Rupert wants to go play down in the basement. Hey, hey, Stewie. I'm gonna go play down in the basement. Here I go. Da -da 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 -da. What? Why, Rupert? Why do you want to play in the basement? I do not touch poo poo in this family. We do not touch poo poo. No. Hands up. That's it. Now there's no bubbles later. Yes, bubbles. No bubbles. You lost the bubbles. Yes, bubbles. Maybe you can earn them back. But as far as I'm concerned, you've lost the bubbles. They're gone. They're probably gone. Yay, bubbles. What? Okay, Stewie, let's get that little face washed off. Then you can play with your bath toys, huh? No, oh, I hate getting my face washed. Oh, look, it's just Mr. Frog. Hello, Mr. Frog. <laughs> My God, how the hell do I keep falling for that? Now you play with your toys and I'll go get you a nice fluffy towel. Do we? Well, it looks like you got some cool bath toys in there. Is it okay if I join you? No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, is that my froggy butt cloth? Wait, you're not mad I went without you, are you? No, no, I, I was only going for you. And maybe to taunt the animals that aren't able to leave. 
which is all of them. Losers. All right, you have to take us to lunch. But first, we need to take our nap. <gasps> Surprise, Bunny! A trackie! I think he likes it. Give it to me! Give it to me now, damn it! Not now, Stewie, when we get home. That's right. You're a big, fat phony! Ow! What the deuce do you think you're doing? Back off, fat man! Hang on, Stewie! What the... Hey, hey, let go! Get your filthy paws off! Let go! Let go, I say! Let go! Don't let go! Oh, this is exhilarating! Go, oh, Stewie! Yay, Stewie! Out of my way! Oh, I see. Oh, yes, yes, I, I, I suppose you, you do have to ride it to truly appreciate its virtues. Well, then, I'll just wait right here till you get back. Oh, where the devil is he? You've obviously never met a bully. What the deuce do you mean, bully? He wasn't taking it for a test ride. He was just taking it. <gasps> you, you mean... Mm-hmm. He stole my tribe key. Uh... <laughs> Brian, I love you. <laughs> oh, God, just wipe your nose, man. <laughs> Can I have a hug, Brian? No, 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 God, no, no, not now, no. I want a hug. I love No, no, just wipe. Oh, God, there's Brian. no Kleenex. I I go go, so go roll around in the sandbox uh, in the summer house. Go, go to the summer house and roll around. Yeah, that guy's scary as an Iraq lobster. <laughs> Death to America and butter sauce. Don't boil me. I'm still alive. Iraq lobster. Iraq lobster. We were sitting. I want to sing a little song that uh, kept me going when I had troubles. at the beach everybody had matching towels somebody went under a dock and there they saw a rock but it wasn't a rock it was a rock lobster You're gonna be okay. What the hell are you doing? I wanted to bring over something to welcome Gronk to the neighborhood, so I scraped all the Cool Ranch off of 15 bags of Doritos. You bringing him a bowl of powder? Yeah, I thought he could eat it by the fistful or rub it on his balls. Peter, I don't know what you're so excited about. Rob Gronkowski is probably the worst neighbor we could ask for. You know he's gonna be partying day and night. It's not like it's that tasty piece of ass, Julian Edelman. Now, there's a patriot you can get excited about. I know he's a wide receiver, but if he's given, I'm taken. I'll take it all. I'll take it wherever. <sighs> anyway, go suck up to your big dumb monster. I'll be here hooking the G to thoughts of Edelman. Hi, can I help you? Yes, I'd like one of those flashlights with a vagina in it, please. <laughs> What? Oh, I love that movie. Oh, man, that's going to leave a big hole in their lineup. What's going to fill the glory hole? In place of glory, we will be showing Shaft, starring Richard Roundtree. What? You can't just shove Shaft in the glory hole. Yeah, I know. It'd be better to put in that movie about the two girls who meet Nixon. What's that movie called? Dick? Dick would slide right into that glory hole. No, no, Dick's too short for that glory hole. But if you also put in Edward Furlong's movie, Pekka, you got Pekka and Dick in the glory hole, and you got a tight squeeze, but it, it ought to fit. <clears throat> What the hell am I sitting on? Hey, I thought I told you kids to go plow in the field. But, Dad, we've been plowing all morning. Yeah, I can't take any more plowing. I can barely walk. Look, I know it seems like dirty work, but, Chris, you got to spread that seed until your sack is empty. And, Meg, you got to clear away all that brush so he can plant it deep where it needs to be. Okay, we'll keep at it. But I think that hoe is pretty much worn out. Well, flip it over. You can use both sides. <laughs> Jobs for women between prostitute and lawyer. Wartime nurse? We need money. I'm going to look for a job. Eh, I guess you should. And that'll give me more time to focus on expanding my record collection. How's this one? Oh, Bach is very good. I recommend. And this one? Oh, Mozart, the boy genius, the best. Okay, how about this? 
Oh, the pussy. I love the pussy. Sometimes all I can think about is the pussy. Oh, look at the penis. The penis is so good with the pussy. So you like his early work? Oh, yes. When the pussy was young, that's when you want the pussy. Okay, I'll take these two. Very good, sir. Just make sure you finish on the back. Never finish on the pussy. <laughs> My God, Lauren, what am I going to do? I'm, I'm still in love with Jillian. Well, there's only one thing you can do, Brian. Tell her how you feel. What's the use? It's over. She's moved on. Well, who knows? Women are complex creatures, Brian. Maybe she just needs to be reminded how much she misses you. And I know exactly how to do that, Brian. She needs to see you on the arm of a beautiful woman. What is this going to do? It's going to make her jealous. You, out on the town with a hot date. How are you a hot date? Whoa, you're angry at her, not me. No wonder you're alone. This isn't working at all. She doesn't even know we're here. Oh, she will, Brian, and she's going to be upset that your date is so into you. Okay, ready? I've been reading up on things that sound sexy. Oh, Brian, I can't wait till after dinner, because then we'll go home, and you can watch me have my period. What the hell's wrong with you? That's not sexy. Hey, Brian. I just noticed you over here. Hi, I'm Jillian. Desiree, charm. Well, I wish we could stay, but we have quite an exciting evening planned. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, right. We're really hitting the town. Yes, we're going to douche the night away. Uh, well, have fun. You two are a really cute couple. Hey, Desiree. Oh. Hey, Lee. Brian, this is Lee. Lee, this is Brian. I know Lee from Starbucks. Hey, is that Desiree? Away with it. Oh, cool. Look at that. Hey, Chris, go long. Ah! Ah! Touchdown! Good grief. Uh, knock, knock. Hey, Stewie. What do you want? I just want to talk to you about everything that happened. Um, you know, you were the only person who believed in me when I was down. This all happened so fast, and I lost sight of who I was. I mean, you know, sure, you were in a little over your head, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. I was in over my head? Yeah, but Stewie, this isn't about all the things you did wrong. It's about me apologizing. Okay, then apologize. I just did. No, you didn't. You just said it's about me apologizing. That's not actually apologizing. All right, Stewie, I'm sorry that I made you uncomfortable and put you in a situation that you clearly couldn't handle. Okay, okay, there it is again. What the hell? Stop with that! Y you're right, you're right. This is, this is about healing. It's this, this is not about how many things you messed up along the way. It's about how badly I reacted to them. So, I'm sorry about how badly I reacted to your many errors. That's as good as it's gonna get, isn't it? Pretty much. You can't write. See, Brian? This trip's already off to a great start. Certainly better than that retreat we went on with the Quahog Baptist Choir. Why do we show our visitors how we sing what we see, y'all? Sing what we see. Sing what we see. Brother Roscoe, what do you see? Oh, I see Howard Johnson's billboard. Sing what you see. Uh -huh. An old red barn that needs a paint job. Sing what you see. Oh, yeah. Boy in a truck too young to drive. Sing what you see. Brian! Oh, uh, uh, car? Oh, come on. Let's just see what we see and keep it to ourselves. Well, if there's anyone I can trust, it's a stranger at the gym holding a dirty needle. Here, Stewie, try this. Yeah, what the hell are you do? Whoa. Oh, my. Suddenly I'm full of energy. All right, fat man, let's do this. <laughs> Stewie, you look like a new man. Where will you look at me? I have the power! <laughs> My God, I, I shall cherish this forever. I say, Oopy, I'll trade you this baseball for your souvenir bat. Sure. <laughs> what did you learn? Hey. Hey. So I guess you heard about Meg's boyfriend, huh? I did. I did hear, yes. Weird, right? Guy has a crush on her own brother? I know, so weird. But you know the heart wants what the heart wants. I just hope it doesn't cause awkwardness, you know, in the house. Oh, no, it doesn't have to be awkward. Not if we don't make it awkward. I just don't see the attraction. I mean, is it all about that big package? Big? You really think so? Are you kidding? Biggest in the family. 
That thing should be hanging from the ceiling of a dilly. Thanks, Brian. God, I have so much energy now. <laughs> Am I the only one who feels like grabbing a drink? <laughs> Any word on Carter's condition yet? No, it's been three days, and I'm really starting to get worried. What if he's in a coma for like 20 years, and he comes out of the coma, and you guys are all dead, but I'm still alive, and I'm a famous race car driver, and he's like, oh, man, Stewie turned out awesome. And he comes to one of my races, and I'm so surprised to see him there, I crash. And then I'm in a coma for 20 years, and I wake up and he's a race car driver. Stewie, do you want to be a race car driver when you grow up? Well, gosh, if you think I'd be good at it. You're just going to have to block out the cold, Stewie. Picture yourself in a warm place. Okay, I think I can do that. <laughs> Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem! That'll be $60. Cut it out! I'm just trying to live my life! No one taught me about carbs! Brian, did you see Revenge of the Sith? Yeah, I saw part of it. Why does Emperor Palpatine have a desk? Huh? In that scene where Yoda comes in and they're about to have that big fight, Emperor Palpatine clearly gets up from his desk. I mean, I'm just saying, what does he, what does he need a desk for? Who the hell cares? I'm, I'm just saying, it's weird. I mean, I mean, what, like, what was he doing at his desk, like, right before Yoda walked in? What was he doing? Was he doing paperwork? Was he like, oh, Yoda, what do you need, and will it take longer than five minutes? I am absolutely swamped. These requisition forms for new TIE fighters have to be down to Debbie in accounting by six, or Newt Gunray is going to pitch a tent in my waiting room. <laughs> Boy, he's really upset. Ugh, I can't deal with anything until I've had my after-nap coffee. I don't think guys should have two hands on a coffee mug ever. What? Mmm, <laughs> oh, yummy. Don't do that either. J just, just don't do anything. A jackal! Jackal! It's a jackal! It looks like a jackal! 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 It's a jackal! Jackal! Time! It wasn't right the first time you said it! Why the hell would it be right the next ten times? Go! I hate bewitched! Hey, so that's a pretty reasonable reaction, huh? Ah, the breakfast thing. <laughs> yes. I, it, it wasn't even about the eggs, really. Frankly, I like the yolks. I, I, I don't... I have no problem with... It's just... There's always been a lot of tension between Lois and me. And it's not so much that I want to kill her. It's just I want her not to be alive anymore. Uh, I, I sometimes wonder if, if all women are this difficult. And then I think to myself, my God, wouldn't it be marvelous if I turned out to be a homosexual? Stewie, Stewie, how's that oatmeal? Is it true you're having an affair with that oatmeal? What do you say about the rumors that you have a full diaper? I'm just trying to eat here. What did you do to your mother's vagina? Leave me alone. How come your feet are so small? Is it true you can't say spaghetti? What about the rumors that you have cooties? Is it true you doubled your weight in the last six months? <laughs> oh, 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 Daddy, help me, Daddy. I can't get involved because of journalism. <laughs> Stewie, you want a mommy rocket ride? What? What do you mean? Here we go! Get ready for blast off! Ow! Oh, son of a bitch! Ah! Oh my god, Stewie, are you alright? Nice throw, Casey Anthony. Hey. Who the hell are you? I'm the guy Stewie pays to watch him sleep. Who are you? I'm Brian. I live here. Oh. Do you mind if I take this script? Lewis! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! 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 Mama! 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 Ma! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> Johnny Quest. Okay, welcome aboard. Dr. Benton Quest. All right, have a good flight. Haji. Hmm, uh, listen, you've been randomly selected for additional screening, but you didn't even type anything in. Look, if it were up to me, you'd be right there on that flight, but, uh, I'm gonna need you to take off your shoes and that lovely, uh, hat. Sim, Sim, Salabim! Yeah, I'd cut back on that. And we'll close tonight with a super... I want you to sign.
behind my chest. And I want to hock a loogie in your face. I want you to sign my ass. And I want to hock a loogie in your face. I want you to autograph my stomach. Okay, fine, but do me a favor. Don't spit on my friend. Hey, Brian, why don't you mind your own... Hoopa, not Hoopa. You're thinking of Mr. Hoopa from Sesame Street, and I'd sooner fuck him. You think you and Bonnie could kiss each other just once? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I, I, don't I suppose. <laughs> yeah, we might need some champagne. Mm. 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 <laughs> Dang! That's the first time I ever asked for anything I really wanted. Touch. Touch boobs. Mm. See, here are all the 1950s Coke signs from the 1980s. Oh, cool, and a jukebox. Yeah, but since the songs are from the 50s, they're all about men in their 40s wanting to have sex with teenagers. I wanna be a teeny popper at the sock pop, or maybe after work behind the mug shop. Thirteen candles. Twelve-year-old sex. I'm gonna sleep with all the kids tonight. Joe, stop pressing buttons. Hi, honey. Mommy needs money for scratches. What the? What kind of brazen thievery is this? Where'd you get this? Chris Griffin, you get in here. What is this? Um. Robot penis? Seriously, I'm absolutely jonesing right now, so give it back. I know what this is. I want I'm not Bravo. doing it. You are too young to be Maybe doing it. Maybe it is, and he's just too dumb to hide it. Up, do we to get his hands on I it? I don't know, Mom. I'm not my brother's he's keeper. He's a baby. Well, babies are stupid like that. I'm doing <laughs> and you are grounded, mister. Now look what you did, you little son of a bitch. She has my vaporizer. You have to get it back. <laughs> That's your problem. You lost your vape pen. I didn't lose mine. Well... I guess you win. Tastes so good, like skin berries. I'm alive with pleasure! It's possible we've taken this too far. I'll just go down and get yours back. I will never forget this day. Mom, I need to talk to you. Technically, that was not my vape pen, but I do need it back because it belongs to a friend of mine. We accidentally switched jackets, not unlike that episode of the Brady Bunch when Greg... <coughs> oh, damn it, Chris. Why do your lies have to take so damn long? You're smoking the vape pen? No, I'm sneaking a real cigarette like frustrated mothers are supposed to do. You're such a hypocrite. At least vaping is healthy. Oh, don't be an idiot. Vaping is just as bad and you look like a douchebag. No, I don't. I look cool. Go ahead. Hold it to your mouth. Oh my god, I'm a douchebag! <laughs> it's okay, Chris. Your secret's safe with me. Wait, why'd you bring me all the way out here? Now that we're eccentric rich guys, we're going to go down 20,000 feet and pants James Cameron while he's excavating the Titanic. <laughs> there he is. This is gonna be so great.
Stewie, can I see you in my office for a second? Oh, yeah, what's up, Eric? Everything okay? Yeah, just come into my office. Stewie, Shawanda said she saw you sneaking food. What? She said she saw you in the back of the kitchen sneaking a fish sandwich. Oh, come on, dude. J yes, okay, but, but the thing was five minutes past the throwout time. Well, be that as it may, Shawanda took these pictures on her cell phone. You're fired. Hey, bruh? Yeah? <laughs> Damn it! Oh, there's glass in my eye! Oh, son of a bitch! Ah! Mom says dinner's at six. She wanted me to tell people. I don't know why. <laughs> wow, Bonnie, you really took off the baby weight quickly. Oh, thanks, Lois. Hey, do you mind rubbing some of that sunblock on my back? Of course, Bonnie. Oh, but I don't want to get any on my shirt. Mmm, that feels good. Um, you're going a little low there, Lois. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It's Disney Junior's Minnie Mouse to watch the Hitchens house of Super Bright Buck. Or am I the only one who has any desire to move out from under the fucking power lines? What's that? Oh, it's cancer! Can we please not do this in front of Pablo? Uh, screw him. That fucking kid's from Guam. Probably only speaks Spanish or some shit. Let me tell you something, Nessa. A bullet sounds the same in every language, so stick a fucking sock in it, you cow. Like one? Well, I guess no one cares about our music. I thought we were pretty good. Yeah, I've seen worse performances. I was walking home around 8.15 p.m. to my car. It was very dark, and then I, I heard the footsteps. Boo! Get to the sex! I need to take a pill later. Oh, sorry, I guess I need to be a little more to the left. A little more to the left! Come on, Quagmire, you were a Navy pilot for six years. Land this thing! <laughs> Oh, Pina, that's new. Let me try. Eh. Oh, they're delicious. I thought maybe later today we could all. <coughs> oh my god, mom's choking! Out of the way, I'm an EMT. <coughs> Her airways jammed. Come on now, just like that. <clears throat> I need some gravitational help. Oh no, her clothes are constricting, as are mine. <clears throat> oh my God! Oh, thank you, Jerome. You saved my life. Um, I'll have what she's having. Says the funniest person in the room. So, whose leg do you have to hump to get a dry martini around here? <laughs> hmm. God, look at the size of these steak knives. What, what are they serving us, Tyrannosaurus Rex? Not likely. Hey, what if I just drank this whole bottle of ketchup? <laughs> you do imagine? You dare me? Kind of ruins it for the next person who might want some ketchup. So, how's the flying business? Not so great. The economy's sort of taking its toll. A lot of salary cuts, a lot of layoffs. Yeah? That's pretty much it. I mean, you want to learn more, read the papers, go on the internet, I, I don't know. Boy, that's got to be an interesting job. I bet you guys... How do those things work? What, planes? How does a plane work? Yeah. You want me to sit here and explain to you how a plane works? I don't know, yeah. You want to maybe just go? Quagmark, come on, I'm really trying hard here. Who asked you to try hard? Nobody, but all I'm trying to establish a friendship with you. All I've done is try to be nice to you and you still don't like me. How can you not like me? Okay, I'll tell you. You are the worst person I know. You constantly hit on your best friend's wife. The man pays for your food and rescued you from certain death. And this is how you repay him? And to add insult to injury, you defecate all over his yard. And you're such a sponge. You pay for nothing. You always say, ooh, I'll get you later. But later never comes. And what really bothers me is you pretend you're this deep guy who loves women for their souls when all you do is date bimbos. Yeah, I date women for their bodies, but at least I'm honest about it. I don't buy them a copy of Catcher in the Rye and then lecture them with some seventh grade interpretation of how Holden Caulfield is some 
profound intellectual. He wasn't. He was a spoiled brat. And that's why you like him so much. He's you. God, you're pretentious. And you delude yourself by thinking you're some great writer, even though you're terrible. You know, I should have known Cheryl Teagues didn't write me that note. She would have known there's no A in the word definite. And I think what I hate most about you is your textbook liberal agenda. How we should legalize pot, man. How big business is crushing the underclass. How homelessness is the biggest tragedy in America. Well, what have you done to help? I work down at the soup kitchen, Brian. Never seen you down there. You want to help? Grab a ladle. And by the way, driving a Prius doesn't make you Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, you don't believe in Jesus Christ, or any religion for that matter, because religion is for idiots. Well, who the hell are you to talk down to anyone? You failed college twice, which isn't nearly as bad as your failure as a father. How's that son of yours you never see? But you know what? I could forgive all of that, all of it, if you weren't such a bore. That's the worst of it, Brian. You're just a big, sad, alcoholic bore. <sighs> I'll see you, Brian. Thanks for the steak. Carter kind of decided he's going to leave all his money to Chris. So I've been trying to get on his good side. I even cleaned his room for him the other day. Wish I hadn't done that. Chris, our bath is ready. I, uh, I don't, I don't know what to do now. I, I don't have the parenting skills necessary to deal with this. I say we never speak of this again. I, I might move. Leave all his money to Chris. So I've been trying to get on his good side. I even cleaned his room for him the other day. Wish I hadn't done that. Chris, our bath is ready. I, uh, I don't, I don't know what to do now. I, I don't have the parenting skills necessary to deal with this. I say we never speak of this again. I, I might move. Just, oh, you dick, you just came in to charge your phone. Sorry, Peter's using all the outlets. Toast house. Who just uses a woman for sex? Because Jillian deserves better. She has feelings, you know, and... She's devoted a lot of time and energy to this relationship Tired. with some... Ex so, as you can see, the fiscal projections for the fourth quarter make this thing a slam dunk. Any questions? Not about my cow otters. All right, then. Looks like we got ourselves a deal. This is cause for celebration. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not driving. Well, so that's what the tops of cars look like. All right, walking speed. Afternoon, ma'am. Afternoon to you, normal sir. No one can tell. Uh, how's the weather down there, you short idiot? Should we tell him his pants fell off? No, let's wait a while. Well, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. I walk all the time. And to think, just last week, my only creative outlet was picking hockey fights at work. Griffin, I need these shipping reports filled out by 5 o'clock today. <laughs> How about now? Is this doing anything for you? No. Hmm. Well, what if I show you my tattoo? Nothing. Well, you got a dead rat in your pants, mister. There's gotta be something you can do, Dr. Hartman. Have you tried getting a divorce? I've never seen this problem in a single man. Doctor, what about Viagra or Cialis? What about them? Well, if Peter could try them, they might help with his problem. Oh, sure. Come on in, Quagmire. Oh, you don't have to take your shoes off. Our house sucks. So, Quagmire, if you're some kind of big ladies' man, how come I never see you wearing a necklace? I, uh, that's not really my thing. I'll get you one. Please don't. Hey, come on. The guy wants to get your necklace. Let him get your necklace. <laughs> Stay for the bris. Nah, I don't want to see that. I can taste the previous person's cough. Done it since I started working. Yeah, I guess you're right. Come on, where's my big strong man? Putting on one of your dress shirts to look sexy. I want to do it on top of the comforter. I don't care if we make streaks. Well, of course you don't. You're not the one who cleans it. Peter, just shut up and take me. <laughs> Mr. Pewter Schmidt, there's a man here who says he's the guy whose picture is on all the money. Holy cow, send him in. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I came in with my wife and now I can't find her. Oh, I'm sure she's here somewhere. Come on, I'll help you find her. Okay. 
Will Lois Griffin please come to the courtesy booth? We have a little gift for you. <laughs> uh, I'm Lois. Oh, for God's sakes, Peter. Yay, Lois! <laughs> Meg, though you cannot tell, I am frowning. I don't care for this place. Last time I was here, I accidentally walked into a Spanish picnic. <laughs> Excuse me, has anyone seen a toy car around here? Ooh, it's baby. I make beautiful. <laughs> don't get any ideas about Julio. I am his number one. God. I am so hungover. Oh, me too. But luckily, when I'm hungover, I can just molt into another pita. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, but for the next ten minutes, I'll be very vulnerable to predators. <gasps> Mountain lion, make yourself look big! I'll have the halibut? Ah, great choice. One of the chef's specialties. You'll love it. It was caught fresh less than ten miles from here. I'll have the New York strip steak. Mmm, my absolute favorite dish here. It is a spectacular cut, superbly seasoned, and the marbling is some of the best I've ever seen. And I'll have the chicken. Mm-hmm. Wow, well, a lot of people here today. Yeah. Man, I love street fairs. They got rides, games, and ethnic food cooked horribly by white Americans. Tacos! Hot tacos here! Oh, are those tacos? You better believe they're tacos! I love tacos, especially on a corn tortilla. Oh, I love tacos on a corn tortilla! Sessions presents A Peter Griffin Christmas, featuring such standards as... <laughs> Everybody look at the snow in the yard. And who could forget? I brought these gifts for you. They're up in my bum. And everyone's favorite. La, 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 la. Look at the bells. Look at the bells. Holy crap, here comes Jesus. And he doesn't look too happy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, my God. Brian, there's a message in my alphabet. It says, ooh. Peter, those are Cheerios. I don't know, Brian. Maybe Lois is right. Maybe it is time for me to get a job. Yeah, too bad you always blow it in the interview. So, Peter, where do you see yourself in five years? Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Doing your... son? And they told Peter to stay away from the wolf. But he didn't listen to them, because he's his own man. And he knew that sometimes the things that seem the most dangerous turn out to be the most fun. Yes, sir, it was a good day for young Peter. Are you a pedophile? Build a new settlement. We'll have a happy new life and we'll have equal rights for all. Except blacks, Asians, Hispanics, Jews, gays, women, Muslims. Um, everybody who's not a white man. And I mean white, white. So no Italians, no Polish. Just people from Ireland, England, and Scotland. But only certain parts of Scotland and Ireland. Just full-blooded whites. No, you know what? Not even whites. Nobody gets any rights. Ah, <sighs> America. Dad, what are we doing here? Chris, I'm going to show you how to stand up to a bully. But first, I'm going to show you how when I pull the drawstrings on my sweatshirt and spit out a candy bar, I look like an anus. Ew! 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 <laughs>